Hey there, today we are going to do a workout that I love to do uh, to warm up before I go for a run. I'm a new runner, this is a pretty new thing for me, but I always like to do a little bit of Pilates to get my diaphragm warmed up, to get my core warmed up, to get my hips warmed up, and just to get everything kind of moving. So my run feels just a little bit freer, a little bit easier, and this is gonna be a great workout for you if you would like to warm up before your runs too. It's also a really nice just full body warm up if you need a quick workout um, before you do anything or before you just move on with your day. So I hope you'll join me. Today we're gonna start seated on the mat, starting to get some space in the side body to really be able to breathe well while we're running or again while we're just moving around throughout our day. So go ahead and take a seat. We're going to do just cross legs. If this isn't comfortable for you, you could stack a couple blankets and sit up on the blankets. That usually makes it a little bit easier. You could also do this seated in a chair if you'd like. So we want to find our sits bones, those bony, bony landmarks underneath your seat. You could even move your flesh to make sure you feel them. We'll find the sits bones that's gonna help us have a neutral pelvis. Feel equally weighted on those sits bones too. Be careful that you're not more on one side than the other. And then the ribs are right over the hips. And then we just feel our head floating up a little bit right over the center of that rib cage. Good. Bring the arms up to the sky over your shoulders. On an inhale, slide those shoulders up to the ears. Big inhale, big breath in. And then on your exhale, just drop it down. Take that again, big inhale. And exhale. Two more there, good. Inhale, feel those ribs lift. And then exhale, slide them down. One more there, inhale. And exhale, good. Grab one wrist and then lengthen up the same way you just did and take a little side bend, big inhale. Opening up those ribs, expanding through the side body, and then exhaling it up. Switch hands. Lengthen up. Side bend over. And then bring it back. And release. And we'll just do that one more time each side. Find the length first. Lift. And over. And up. Last one there. Grab the wrist. Lengthen up. Nice, and up, and then release those arms. Come to sitting with your feet in front of you. Knees bent, feet flat on the mat. Arms reaching out in front of you. Take a moment to soften the shoulders down. Take a big inhale, and then on your exhale, tuck your tail under, scoop your belly into your spine, and roll down bone by bone until you're laying flat on your mat. From here, we're going to draw the legs all the way together and let the knees flop over to the right, twisting at the waist, again, opening up that side body. So feel that distance between hips and ribs. You wanna to try to keep your shoulders square around the mat. And then draw it back through center on an exhale. Let's try to bring our breath into the movement here so that that breath is coordinated when we're running too. Big inhale to open to the other side, dropping those knees to the left, keeping your right shoulder anchored and opening up that side body. Big breath in. And then on your next exhale, wherever that is, draw it back through the center, feel the belly pull back a little bit, that exhale brings some power into your center to move the legs. Let's take it a little bit quicker now. We inhale to drop to the right. We exhale to pull those legs back to center. My feet are still touching the mat, so we're doing a relatively easy version of this. Inhale. I say relative, so if it doesn't feel easy for you, that's okay. There's still work there. Exhale in. Good. Inhale, drop to the right. Exhale, come back through center. Last one here. Inhale. And exhale. Great. Place those feet on the mat, open them slightly so they're sits bones distance apart. Rest your arms down next to you. Take a big inhale and then on your exhale, take the time to curl your pubic bone towards your belly button. And then keep lifting that pubic bone up towards the sky to articulate the spine up into a bridge. Find your feet, find that mat, press into the mat with all four corners of the feet and your arms. Arms are engaged here and then roll it down bone by bone. We're finding some articulation in the spine, some space in the body, and find it all the way down to neutral, tailbone heavy, little bit of space behind the low back, and then take it again, roll it up. 
press down through the feet, lift, and roll it down. One more like that, and then we're going to make it a little more challenging at the top. Roll it up, press down through those feet, feel your knees pull forward towards your toes to really get those hamstrings turned on, and then we're going to keep our hips super, super stable as we float that right leg to tabletop, and then place it back down, and then the left, and place it down. Now do the right. Keep switching, staying really nice and high through those hips, and even through those hips. Good, and then the right, and down, and left. One more each way, right, and down, and left. And down, lift the hips a little bit higher first, good, and then roll it down bone by bone, one vertebra at a time. Gorgeous, bring your right leg up to tabletop position, keeping the pelvis neutral. Bring your left leg up to meet it, let's raise those arms up to the sky. Plug those arms into the shoulder joints, wide collarbones, inhale here. Exhale, curl the head, neck, and shoulders up. Here comes the work for the diaphragm, warming up that breathing. Inhale to pump the arms, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, breathe out of your belly, two, three, four, five. Inhale to pump, and exhale. Inhale into the back ribs, expand those ribs, and then exhale, breathe all of your air out. If you want more of a challenge, go ahead and extend your legs. Inhale, and exhale. Take what feels right for you here. Inhale and exhale. Vigorous pumps of those arms. Breathe into those back ribs. Expand. Exhale. Breathe out of your belly. Two more sets here. Inhale and exhale. Good. You're staying curled up. Don't let that head drop. Inhale and exhale. Now stay up. Curl up a little bit higher. And then we're going to slowly lower the legs straight down onto the mat. Let the arms come all the way back overhead and lengthen through that body. Feel a nice reach from fingertips to toes. Next time you inhale, start to bring your arms up to the sky. Nod your chin to the chest and exhale to roll all the way up and forward, reaching over those toes, rounding your back, stretching through that spine. And then next exhale, we roll all the way back down, bone by bone, one vertebra at a time. Find as much control as you can. You just take two more of those. Nod the chin to the chest, reach those arms up. Exhale and curl. Reach forward over those toes. Feel your low back stretch, feel those hamstrings lengthening, and then roll it down. Good. Keep breathing. Nod your chin to your chest. Notice if there's a point where you wanna hold your breath and try to breathe through it. And then roll it down with control. As soon as you're at the bottom, I want you to hug your right knee deep into your chest. We're gonna work on compressing and decompressing in the hip joint to really warm that up. Nod your chin to your chest here and float that left leg just to hover an inch off the mat. Pull your right knee towards your nose and switch legs. And switch. And switch. Good, keep going like that. Switch and switch. Let's take a couple more. One more each way. Good, and then hug both knees into the chest, stay curled up. We're gonna extend the arms and the legs straight out overhead. Legs go back away from you. And then we take the arms around and hug back in. Inhale to extend. And then exhale, bring it in. Inhale, extend. We're keeping the head up the whole time, so as the arms go back, we don't let our head drop, it stays lifted. Good, one more. And draw it in, and then let's lower the head down. Turn the head side to side if you're feeling any neck tension. We'll just release that there. Good, and then right away we're gonna come to hands and knees. So again, this is a relatively quick workout, so you can kind of get to the run, get to your walk, get to your bike ride, get to whatever you're doing. Hands directly under the shoulders, knees directly underneath the hips, and just some nice easy cat cows here. I want you to take your exhale and round your back. Feel that belly actively pull back through the spine. Press down through the tops of the feet and the hands. Breathe, stretching through that back. And then go the other way. We take a little bit of extension, lifting the head and the chest, opening up that front body a little bit. Two more there. Exhale around. Inhale to lengthen up through the spine. And one more. Round the back. Press down into the ground. And then open your chest. Reach your heart forward. And then go ahead and find a neutral spine. 
Even in a neutral spine, I want you to think about a gentle lift of your tailbone and a gentle lift of your sternum forward and up so that we're not ending up here and rounded. We've just got a nice straight body here. And then we're gonna do a little tail wag. So I want you to imagine you have a tail and you're gonna wag that tail over to the left and you're gonna try to look at it over on the same side. And then go the other way. Wag the tail and look and then wag the tail. And look again, we're getting some space in that side body, warming up the muscles in the side body. And then take it again, wag the tail. And last one, wag the tail. Good, come to neutral. If you need to break off your wrists, go ahead and take it, maybe a child's pose for a second. We're gonna take the hands directly under the shoulders, the knees directly underneath the hips, tuck the toes under, draw your ribs in and up slightly, and then just float your knees an inch off the mat. Now lift your hips up to the sky, drop your heels down and find an upstretch. In yoga, this is called down dog. On your exhale, float it back down to the hover, but don't touch your knees to the mat. Take it again, inhaling up. Exhaling down. Two more there, inhaling up. Exhaling down. One more, inhaling up. Exhaling down, we hold the hover from here. I want you to lean your weight forward, wrists over fingers, or shoulders over fingers, I should say, and then sit it back towards the heels, deep in the creases of the hip sockets. Rock it forward to your fingertips. Rock it back towards your heels. Rock it forward. Rock it back. Couple more. Forward and back and forward and back. One more time, rock it forward, rock it back and then gently lower those knees down, come up right away off of your hands and step one foot forward. I'm gonna step my right foot forward. Heel directly underneath. If you need an extra cushion under your knee, please feel free to grab a blanket or a towel or fold up your mat. And then we're actually gonna take little pelvic tilts here in this position. So I want you to tip your pubic bone to your belly button, opening up the front of this hip, and then really stick your booty out. Take a little pelvic tilt the other way. And then we rock it forward, so pubic bone's rocking forward and under. And then back, forward and under, and then back. Two more like that, rock it forward, and back. One more, and back. And then we'll switch sides. I'm gonna turn around, but you don't have to. And then you're taking that same thing, lengthen up through the crown of the head, and then we tuck, and we rock it back, and tuck. And you're taking what works for you here, right? Don't go so big in a range of motion if you're feeling any pain or discomfort. Take what feels good for you, rock. Two more. One more. From there, we're gonna come back to hands and knees for just a moment. We're going to tuck those toes again, float the knees, and come up to that upstretch position. Drop those heels. Bend your right knee and really drop your left heel into the mat to get a nice calf stretch. And then go the other way. And then walk that faster. So we're just going to take heel drop one at a time. Moving through those calves, pumping some circulation there into the legs. Drop both heels, stay, lift your hips to get a stretch. Walk your hands in towards the feet. Roll it all the way up to stand. And we'll do just a little bit of active work for the legs here to finish up your warm up and get ready to run. So I want you to stand with parallel feet. I'll face sideways so you can see me this way. Right leg is going to step back into a lunge. Left knee is bent, right leg is straight. So back leg straight, front leg bent. And then you'll straighten through that front leg and hike that foot up just as high as you feel like you could. If you want to stand by walls to help you balance, you totally can. Step it back and then draw it up. Step it back, draw it up. I'm really trying to push my heel down towards the ground when I step back and then pull up. Good, press back, pull it up. Just a couple more here. Good, one more. Good, and then we'll switch to the other side. So you've got that, this is my left foot here. Just do whichever foot you didn't just do. Step it back, draw it up, straightening through that front leg. Step it back, draw it up. 
And again, you're taking the range of motion that works for you here. Maybe it's a small lunge for now. Maybe eventually it gets bigger. Maybe your knee doesn't come up past your hip at first. Maybe it does. I don't know. Do what feels right for you. Two more. One more. Awesome. Okay, last thing, we're gonna do a little work for the calves and the pelvic floor, and then you are all set to go on your run. So, I recommend you stand near a wall or a windowsill, maybe you use a foam roller to balance with here, whatever you have nearby. We're gonna start with parallel feet. Again, I have a, a wall that I'm using. Let's try to make sure our hips are stacked over our heels, ribs over hips, and then we're going to lift both heels up off the mat. From there, take one foot off of the ground completely, and slowly lower the heel down. And then put both feet on again. We lift, we take the other foot off the mat, and then slowly lower it down. Good, both feet on the ground to lift both heels. Transfer the weight to just one foot. Slowly lower down. Both feet on, lift, switch to the other foot. Slowly lower it down, we'll do a couple more of these. Good, lift. Switch, slowly lower. So both heels on, both heels lift. Switch to one foot, slowly lower. Let's do one more set here, heels lift. Switch to one, slowly lower. Last one, lift, switch, slowly lower. Awesome, great work. You are now all set to go on your run or do whatever it is you're gonna be doing today. I hope you enjoyed this workout and I'll see you soon.